Hello, all you dieters. I'm going to try to get this video in before my next class. Um, we'll see how I go. Ah! All right. Um, I got on the scale today and it said 163.6. Yay! That's very exciting, which means I lost another 1.2 pounds. Let's add that into our grand total. We have lost a total of. 9.3 pounds in 18 days. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. The course, Jenny, stay the course. I'm so happy that I didn't give up and throw in the towel. I am so happy. I hope any of you watching this will go back and watch the previous videos and see how I was on the brink, seriously ready to just say, forget it. And then it all just started happening again. And I did not do the apple day. I just stuck with the plan. And, and I don't think these big numbers are related to this by any means. Um, I did eliminate altogether um, the salad dressing and peanuts that I was having during the day, the higher amounts of fat. So I think that maybe my numbers are a little bit elevated and escalated because of doing better on my diet, not to the extent that they're showing. I think the stall just finished. I think it was just, you know, it was like six days on a stall, six days. So I think it was just the end of the time of being on a stall, to be quite honest with you. You can't go six days and continue to eat as little as I had been. Um, so I do believe that it was just time for this all to happen. Did at the same time me eliminating the fats also contribute to that? Possibly. The first day, though, that I did it, um, there was still a weight gain. So, you know, all in all, it may have just, you know, not much of a gain. But, you know, I, I think my body just started to kind of get shocked into by um, having better foods at the same time that it was a stall for a, a certain period of time and my body was ready to just move on and go, all right, we're losing weight. This is what you want to do. <laughs> so stick with it. Stick with it. Now we have Tom to deal with today and I've had previous videos where I've talked about Tom, but I thought that I would just go to the protocol today. It's a very, very short, just a couple sentences on the paragraph on menstruation. So uh, let me just read it to you. Um, and then I can talk just a bit about it because what I said in the other stuff is a little bit more embellished than what it actually says here. And I've gotten that from all of the other sources of material that I gather um, when I do HCG. So here we go. Menstruation. Yay. Thrilling. During menstruation, no injections are given, but the diet is continued and causing no hardship. Yet as soon as the menstruation is over, the patient becomes extremely hungry unless the injections are resumed at once. It is very impressive to see that the suffering of a woman who has continued her diet for a day or two beyond the end of her menstruation without receiving the injections will once again feel satiated. Oh, I lost my space. Basically, <laughs> feel much better immediately after reserving, receiving their injection. Okay. Um, the sentence about teenage girls. I'm not encouraging this diet for teenage girls, so I'm not going to talk about that. Um, that's basically all he says. So um, this is what I have read and summoned from current doctors that are doing the protocol as well as just people interpreting and all that. And that is that um, the HCG should be terminated on the days of heavy flow. Um, I have also read there's no harm in taking it, but the uh, I guess your body produces a certain amount of HCG. I thought it didn't produce HCG at all unless you were pregnant. So that's a little confusing to me. But then again, if you HCG in your uh, bloodstream is a way to determine if, if a woman is pregnant or not. That's like the, that's what they, they look for. If you have it, you're pregnant. If you don't, you're not. 
Well, if you're menstruating, you know you're not pregnant. <laughs> so I guess maybe you do do it when you're menstruating, uh, produce the hormone a little bit too, or traces of it. So um, that was my understanding as to why, because you already have some. I think in the end, you just have to mind your own body. So he said that you're supposed to stop it for the entire menstruation. Again, I've heard just during heavy flow days, so only about three days, um, stop it and then do it on the other days. Um, and that is good advice for those doing injections. Um, and maybe you can even kind of play with, um, if you're not sure if you should or not, you know, maybe not do it for a day and see if you're hungry, you probably need the injection. So then you should start it back up again. And that's kind of what he said that he found is that people who waited too long and stayed on the diet and didn't get their injection right away, um, were really hungry. But the minute they got their injection, the hunger subsided and went away. Um, we have a little bit more control when you're doing the oral drops because, you do three doses a day. So you can kind of decrease, increase, uh, which of course you can do with injections too. But I think in general with the injections, people don't play around with dosage. They find the one that works for them and that's the same amount they give all the time, only adjusting it if, if hunger's there. Um, so I guess it could be done, I guess, with injections as well. But I think it's easier with um, the drops. Um, so yeah, I... Uh, only usually stop maybe two days um, of drops on the diet. But if at all, I start to feel a little bit hungry, I'll go get drops right away um, to subside that. And then maybe the next day, I'll just do one set of drops and then just see how I go. Um, so that's how you handle that. Um, and that's exactly what Dr. Simeon said, which is not a whole bunch, but he does encourage women to cease the the HCG hormone um, during menstruation. That's all he says. Interpret that as you will. Maybe take what the current doctors are saying and just do it on heavy flow. The bottom line is you should never be hungry on the diet. I'm not saying you never want to eat more food. I'm saying you shouldn't be hungry. You should never be hungry on the diet. If you find yourself hungry, you need to increase your dosage. Or maybe it's time to eat. <laughs> maybe you haven't eaten today. I don't know. Um, at any rate, I did really good. Look how quick I did this video. Aren't you proud of me? Listen, can I just say, I am so happy that I lost another pound today. I can't even, I can't even, after six days of basically losing nothing, I lost 1.7, 1.1, 1.2. God bless you, HCG. My husband even said to me that it looked like I was losing weight. I said that it basically hadn't. And I guess that's because I went six days of basically losing nothing. But maybe he's just sort of realized as of late, I look more like um, I'm losing weight. So bless his heart. I am down 9.3 pounds from when I started this diet. And maybe he's referring to that too. Maybe he's also thinking about what I looked like at the beginning. But I hope not because that was a weight that I hadn't seen in decades. <laughs> and um, I am now at the weight of probably where I would be at the beginning of doing G diet. Because mm -hmm. if I hit the 160s, that's usually when I say I'm going to go ahead and do HCG. So it's like around 163, which is where I am right now. And then I load to about 165, 166, and then I come back down and start losing. So yeah, a little depressing in that sense that we are 18 days in and we're just starting at where I feel like, whoo, I'm a little overweight. Things aren't fitting. I need to lose some weight. <laughs> anyway. We all have our issues, right? We all have our issues. These are mine. Um, can I say I'm never going to get up that high again? I'd love to. I really want to. I believe it in my heart and soul that I don't ever want to get up to that number again. You know what? I can say I'm never going to get up to the 170s again because I was very cognizant and aware of how I was letting myself go. And I typically never do that except for possibly a weekend. I will let myself go for a weekend but I won't do it for a whole month. Um, and I did it for a whole month this time. So lesson learned. If you fall off the wagon and you're in that mode of, well, throwing it all to hell in a handbasket, what's the point? I'll just keep eating. I understand. I've been there. I mean, I totally get it. Um, and I would even say, fine, if that's what you need, 
to feel sorry for yourself for a day or two, but then pull yourself up by your bootstraps and get back on the way again. Make a plan that you're going to be successful for the next month um, and don't wallow in it. Just say, I'm going to do the HC. If you're going to do the HCG diet, perfect. Give yourself the next two days to load as you get that HCG hormone in you. Get it out of your system. Go get everything that's your favorite out there. I found that by doing that, by loading and getting my favorite things, going and getting McDonald's french fries and a hamburger and going to get Krispy Kreme donuts and uh, chocolate donuts with cream filling and just Costco pizza, some of my absolute favorite things, and eating that makes my diet more successful. I don't go, oh, that tasted so good. I wish I could go back and get another burger. I don't. But I find that if I've been like trying to restrict and trying to restrict and trying to restrict, and then I do HCG and I don't load with some of my favorite things, I struggle more on the diet because I feel like I've been dieting forever and now I'm really restrictive. And like, when in, when in the world am I going to enjoy food again? Um, that being said, my vegetables and my cod are delicious. You know, it's just that I would love to eat that four times a day. <laughs> And I can't. I cannot. I did look at the weight of the fish and it was like six, I think it said six ounces, one and a half servings, uh, which is why I justified having the little bit of peanuts when I would have the peanuts before. Um, I did, oh, you know what, yesterday, so talking about food, I don't think we talked about food. I had my fish and my vegetables, as I said before. I put a small pat of butter on top of the fish when I cooked it up. Um, so there's a little bit of fats in there. And then I had two turkey sausages. Um, I actually was extremely fatigued yesterday morning when I woke up, just really tired and feeling physically weak in that. So the first thing I did, not well, first thing, but, you know, in the morning, I had two turkey sausages. I did that first because I, I had already taken my drops in the morning. It wasn't time for drops again. And I just thought, whoa, my body needs something. And it did. I mean, I lost another 1.2 pounds. So it was my body saying, we need more to get going. Those two sausage links are all I needed um, to get me through until dinner when I had my uh, vegetables and fish. And actually, I had my vegetables and fish as an early dinner, like around three, I want to say. Normally, I don't eat until like four or five. Um, but then I was fine for the rest of the day. Had my drops before bed, had my drops again this morning. I'm feeling good. I'm starting to feel a little thinner, you know, that good feeling just starting. I'm, the mirror really doesn't reflect much, <laughs> but, um, slightly, slightly. I love the days where you wake up and you just your stomach almost feels taut and tight. And when you feel um, like you can really move around and like, whoo, I've lost weight. I can tell I can really move. I'm not there yet. Mm -mm, I'm not there, which makes sense because this is where I would normally start dieting. So I get it that I'm not there. Um, I'm looking forward to that, though. I'm hoping that, well, I got to go about seven pounds to get there. I don't know that's going to happen before my scrapbooking retreat, but um, we'll, we'll see how close I can get. It would be really nice if I can go into that retreat feeling really good about myself and my body um, because I'm very active and up and walking and, and doing a whole bunch uh, when I'm there. So, okay. All right. More than you needed to know. The more you know, the more you know. All right. It was a great day today. I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling because I'm happy. Happy, happy video. I will see you all tomorrow with another update. Is it possible that I can lose more weight? Can I go four days in a row after losing over a pound three days in a row? I don't know. I think so. It's a Saturday, but I feel like I'm going to stay on the plan today. I already got my fish defrosting in the refrigerator. Every day I cook up the one piece of fish, I take another one out of the freezer and stick it in a bowl so it can defrost for the next day. So, And I still have vegetables. I do need to get to Costco and do some shopping because I'm really running low on vegetables. I really don't want a day of just eating broccoli. Um, and I think I only have like two pieces of fish left. And then I got to go to the, what was it? Haddock. I now know that I don't like tilapia. I used to, but not anymore. 
and the haddock I'm not thrilled with either. Cod, it's so expensive. That's okay. It's worth it. We don't need anything on this diet, right? You take care. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Stay on track. Stay, stay, stay on track. If you're not seeing results on the scale, you will stay the course. Bye.